Back in March, I think we were all surprised and shocked when we saw how devastating the outbreak was in Italy. And around the world, there's been clearly a disproportionate number of um, healthcare workers affected. And one of the things that I discussed with my colleagues is whether we could use BCG to protect healthcare workers. BCG is a vaccine that's been used for about 100 years to protect against tuberculosis or TB. But what we've realised in the last 10 or more years is that it has additional benefits on boosting the immune system in a very generalised way. So over the last five to 10 years, we've been looking at the effect of BCG on the immune system in babies, and the results so far are promising. And so it was a natural extension to look at how BCG might boost the immune system in healthcare workers for COVID-19. I took the idea for the BRACE trial to Catherine North and she was very excited by the idea. So I pulled my team together and they spent three weeks working day and night to create the trial. We were fortunate to get some generous funding from the Royal Children's Hospital Foundation to get going. And shortly after that, additional funding from Sarah and Lachlan Murdoch and the Mindaroo Foundation and some state governments, which enabled us to take the trial nationally. Then we were contacted by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation who provided the additional funds for us to take the trial internationally. Today, we have over 4,200 participants in over 40 sites in Australia, the UK, Spain, the Netherlands, and Brazil. We expect to have results from the BRACE trial in about six months' time. And if we do show that BCG boosts the immune system, then this means that not only might it be useful for protecting against COVID-19, but it would also boost the immune response to any coronavirus vaccines that our healthcare workers receive and be useful for future pandemics. This has been an immense effort, not just from my team, but also from other teams within the MCRI and the campus. To get a trial of this size up and running in three short weeks and to have recruited over 4,000 participants in five countries is a major achievement.